install and the screenshot you just saw, the screen uh, capture that you just saw was on an Apple iPhone. So I'm doing this video because a user online wants some information in regards to this actual device using it with the app. So I had, when I did the app install, I mean, when I bought this item and I made the review or the usage of it, I didn't bother with the app because I'm not going to use it because it's just gonna waste more battery. But the person's interested in see how the app works. I'm gonna try it out, uh, you know, I don't know how long, but you know, maybe for the day to see how it works. And uh, as you just saw, that was the install. So we're gonna run the app and the app is called OD Cam. Uh, it's right there, OD Cam. This is uh, Sunday the 16th. So now let's run it. And I have to connect. So I think I have to connect through Wi-Fi. So let me turn on the actual device. So. OD Cam. Uh, I just had it charging. You turn it on. That's the headset that you hear, it talks to you. So let's do connect. So I'm gonna have to find it on my Wi-Fi. Turn it on. And then you press it once. I want you to make sure you hear the audio. Wi-Fi on. They said Wi-Fi on. So it should come up. And let me see it come up on my phone. Oh, there it is. You can see EP7069A2A. And let's connect. And the password will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you join. Okay, I don't know what happened. Uh, let me connect again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And join. Right, one more time. Three times the charm. to join, I don't know what's going on, give me a second. Okay, so it goes to show that not all manuals are correct. The manual says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as the password, but the password to connect to the EP7 Wi-Fi was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Leave off the nine, it's eight, and that's how I connect it. So uh, nine, no good. So if you're having issues, that's what it is, leave off the nine. So let me run the app again. actual camera itself. So let's look around. Some of the settings right there, 4K, 30 frames a second. Um, and this is, I think, where you could change it. So that's the battery life, I believe, of the camera. Um, and this is a full screen. So that button there is for the full screen. Uh, my device, my files. Let me go here. So these are videos that I already have on the device. Do I have any photos? And a photo. I guess while I was testing the camera. Uh, downloading, what's that for? It says downloading. Oh, 
Let me click here and then I do confirm. Okay, you have to check the picture. Then you go in there and you save it to your file. So I'm not going to show you that because it's showing a lot of personal information. Okay, and this is the videos. So you can delete them. I can select one. Select it and then do delete. And that's it, it's gone. So let's go back. I don't know how do we go back. Okay, we go back that way. OD cam. So this is the video setting. The photo setting. So I guess I can take pictures now. Yep. Did you hear that? It's pretty cool the way it tells you stuff. Taking a picture. That's pretty cool. Uh, plus, you get you zoom in. That's pretty cool. Photos and videos, nothing else. What else can you do in here? Go to settings up on top. Mm, it's not letting me go. Why isn't it? Okay, there it goes. Okay. So let's look at all the details. Photo resolution. You can change it here. Pretty cool. Make it 20. Time lapse shooting. That's off. I think manually there's a way of doing it, uh, but it's uh, it's cumbersome. So the app is really good when you want to get into these type of details. I really don't care about these details, so you know I'm not a. It doesn't matter to me. So the video resolution, I didn't figure out a way of changing it, but I don't want to change it anyway. It's 4K. And it comes out beautiful. So these are the different resolutions within the application. You know what? I'm going to change it to 60 frames per second to see if it stays that way. But this is the actual resolution. Uh, let me see. Exposure. Loop recording. And exposure settings. Well, the back buttons. Loop recording on and off. Okay. okay. Recording while shooting, slow motion, intervals. So I guess the shoot slow motion. I have it unlimited for the video and it's not letting me go in. I don't know why. Time display, I don't like that either. Uh, format memory card. I'm not gonna do that. I usually do that on my computer. Wi-Fi name, uh, so I can name it. Rename it. Uh, wi Fi password. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember, well, yours might be nine, but mine was eight. That's factory, re factory settings. Well, it actually should be factory reset. And it, that I don't want to do. It's a firmware. Do nothing, um, and that's the application. So I'll take some sample shots outside with this, and I'll show you how I'm using it, um, running around with it, and uh, let's try it out. So I'm going to be using 
the application. So that's odd. It had uh, four lines of battery life right here uh, and it's already gone. I hope I'm showing this in the video. And uh, it's recording, you see the recording sign. I'm recording video. Oh, it's back up again. The Using the app, connecting Wi-Fi, the problem with it is that you only get about 45 minutes of record time. Without the Wi-Fi, without the app, using the app and just doing it manually, I probably got about an hour and 15 minutes. So it was pretty cool, it's an extra half hour that you don't have to charge. It takes like two hours to totally charge. Uh, so I don't want to keep having to charge it. I use it for specific things. Um, I hope I have the camera facing the right direction. I hope you're not seeing my nose. Um, I always have to work on that. Uh, but anyway, the app is running. It's on record video. Uh, I'll take some snapshots and I'll have them at the end. So let's do the full screen. And as you can see on the camera, you can see the full screen. Uh, the camera filming the full screen. You see in the top left is the record and it's recording right now um and it the audio sounds pretty good people complained about the audio but i haven't had any issues i guess i'm not a big giant super duper youtube guy so i'm a regular guy so i'm pretty happy with just being able to be heard but i'm not an audio super guru quality guy so you know maybe in the future that'll change but for now i'm just a regular person hopefully you can just hear me and that's all so this is the application itself it doesn't seem as clunky. I expect it usually when I use these things with the applications. The problem with them is that they're clunky, they they crap out, and they uh, crash a lot. So I've been playing with this probably for about an hour now, and it seems to be working fine. No issues whatsoever making the connection. Now, that being said, every time you set try to set this up with the application, you have to connect to it manually. So when you turn on the camera again, it's not gonna automatically connect to Wi-Fi. You're gonna have to press the power button, turn it on, it'll say power on. Then you have to do a slight press of the power, not a long press, but maybe a two second press and you let it go. And that will, um, that will initiate the Wi-Fi and you hear the audio on the uh, head, little headphone on the camera it'll say Wi-Fi on. When the Wi-Fi is on, you're gonna have to go into your phone and you have to go into your Wi-Fi and connect again. Now you won't have to put the password again, but you have to connect, again. you know, you have to connect again. Then I found I couldn't go right back to where I left off on the application. I actually had to shut the application down by swiping up and closing it. So that's another thing with this thing is that uh, you have to make sure that the app is closed in the background and reinitiate it and connect again to the camera and then you're up and running. So uh, besides that, it seems fine. I like it. Um, and I have no complaints about the application. I just, I really am not going to use it. I don't want to bring my phone. I'm not a big phone person. You know, I come from the 80s where pages was a big deal and uh, flip phones were a big deal. Um, I sometimes leave my phone home. I just need to disconnect sometimes. So that's just the way I am. So I don't like to depend on my phone for everything. Um, I like to sometimes just do things manually. That's just me. It doesn't mean anything whatsoever. But uh, that being said, it seems fine. The application, again, I've been using this, uh, I'm going to say about a total of about two hours. I played with it for an hour before I continued on the video. And it seems to be working fine. No disconnects. Once I connect, it's fine. That's why I'm kind of, I'm waiting. It's already been four minutes. I've been doing this part of the video. And I'm just waiting for it to disconnect. And it hasn't. So, um, so far, so good. Um, um, let me see, I'm gonna wait about, let me, let me make it for eight minutes, so let's take a little walk. Uh, so walk around, and uh, yep, it's still recording, really nice. You know what, I'm not even gonna do eight minutes. 
it's good. Uh, and again, you saw all the settings, the things you could do within it. So I set it's, it. It's strange because once I set it here, the camera itself did not default back to its original. So I it, the default, when you turn it on, it's 4K recording, 30 frames per second. Once I set it up here, it to uh, 4K, 60 frames per second, it stayed that way. So the settings stay, even if you use the app or don't use the app, it looks like. So once you set it, the camera will automatically default to that. And then you can go in and do the factory default if you want it back to the original way. So you could go in, set it with the application, and then forget about it and not even need to use the application. I believe that's the way it works. But I like this camera. It works really, really well. Um, I'm pretty impressed. And I guess one of the nice things about the phone, which I just realized, is I could actually see what I'm filming instead of finding out later on. So it seems to work very well. I have absolutely no complaints about it whatsoever. Yeah, see the camera. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I'm doing this for a user who would like to know how the application looks like, works, and the settings. Uh, and I'm doing it for that person. I thought there must have been thousands of videos on it. I guess there wasn't, so he asked me. So I'm just... Uh, doing him the favor and doing that so i hope the person appreciates him him or her i'm not even sure i forget the person's name i try to respond to every single email even when i get requests for explaining something more um or doing another video i don't have a problem doing that it just takes me time um i have kids i have a wife and i have things i have to do but i love helping people so i don't have a problem if you ask me to do something legitimate legal <laughs> Uh, in regards to explaining something, I don't have a problem. You ask me a question below, give me a few days. Uh, now it's getting, before I used to say a couple of days, but now I get a lot of questions and comments and I sometimes have to go back to the devices and stuff like that and look them over to see uh, yay or nay or give them an answer. I like to be as, as uh, conf I'd like to make sure I'm correct and giving the best answer that I could. Um, so again, and it's still connected and I'm going on, it tells you the amount of the video length. Uh, what is that? Seven minutes is up to seven minutes. So, uh, it works. Uh, so I, I'll do that. I don't have a problem doing that. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to ask below and, um, I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. But now it looks like sometimes depending on what they want, like redoing this video, or updating this video uh, it took me uh, you know like five days to get back to the person so sometimes it's gonna take me longer um, all right so I hope you like the video I hope it helps so the video cut off before I ended it because guess what happened the camera just died the power just went it didn't even give me a warning like it does when you use it manually when you use it manually it says low battery and that is about 15 minutes left of battery. The first low battery means 15 minutes left. And then like five minutes later, it does it again. So every five minutes, it gives you a warning. With the Wi-Fi, it just said low battery, shutting off, and it shut off right before I finished the video. So using the application with this camera, you only get real world. My experience just now, this I pulled off of a fully charged. Fully charged, this was plugged in, fully charged, it was full. You saw the battery life, but it just kept going down, down, down using the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi kills battery life. So I literally only got about 20 minutes of film recording with using Wi-Fi. Whereas you doing it manually without Wi-Fi, I got about an hour and 15 minutes total. So that 45 minutes, I don't know what they're talking about. It could be because I was recording at 4K, but I'm gonna record at 4K. You'll probably get better life if you record at a lower resolution using Wi-Fi. Maybe if you go to 1080 or 720, you will be able to get, um, you will be able to get, you know, 45 minutes but I'm shooting at 4K. So at 4K, at the highest, highest setting, 20 minutes max. So I hope the video helps. I hope you liked it. I will not be using the application. I don't like to use the application. It's so simple to use the camera. 
If the only right reason I'm gonna use the application is to make changes to the camera settings. That's it. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye.